Hello friends and welcome back to Blam, where each week children of God gather together to read a Bible story, watch a Bible story video, praise God through music, and pray together. My name is Pastor Kate and I am one of the pastors here at First St. Charles and this is my buddy Bob. Bob is a sheep and we'll be talking more about sheep later, so stay tuned. Well, do you remember our faith word for this month? Hint, it's right over there. Our faith word is peace. Peace is living together in harmony without fighting. To be calm and know God's presence is also a definition of peace. Did you know that, Bob? Well, our Bible verse comes from the book of Matthew, and it's Matthew 5, 9, and it says, Happy are people who make peace, for they will be called God's children. Well, our Bible story for today is from the book of Psalms. Remember, Psalm is like a song. And the book of Psalms has all sorts of poems and writings that help us talk to God when we are happy or sad or afraid. So let's read it together. I'm going to put Bob on my shoulder so he can read it too. And we are going to read it from the Celebrate Wonder Bible. If you don't have it, remember to send me an email because I'd be happy to get it. So it's from the Celebrate Wonder Bible, and it's page 112, or Psalm 123. All right, you ready, Bob? Okay. God is my shepherd. I am like God's sheep. God provides everything I need. God is like a shepherd. I am like God's sheep. God leads me to do good things because God is good. God is like a shepherd and I am God's sheep. I do not need to be afraid for God is always with me. God is like a shepherd and I am God's sheep. God's goodness and faithfulness will be with me always. God is like a shepherd. I am like God's sheep. I will be with God all the days of my life. God is like a shepherd. I am like God's sheep. We can trust God's love and care. God is great indeed. Well, I never knew how similar we were to each other, Bob. How cool is that? Well, let's watch Samuel explain our Bible story, which comes from Psalm 23 and sing along with the song, Kind and Brave. We'll see you soon. Hi friends, I'm Samuel. Let's wonder, what do you think of when you hear, the Lord is my shepherd? I've heard this Bible passage so often, but I didn't really know what it meant. I know that a shepherd has sheep, but what does that have to do with the Lord? I learned that kings and other leaders during biblical times are sometimes called shepherds. This didn't mean that they actually owned sheep. But the leaders cared for their people like shepherds care for their sheep. It's a shepherd's job to keep them safe. When I say the Lord is my shepherd, it reminds me that God is always with me and that I can find comfort in God. God's comfort can bring peace, even in the scariest situations. Then the Bible says, even when I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no danger because you are with me. Wait, why is a valley even dangerous? Well, sometimes mountains can block the sun from shining in a valley. Valleys can feel dark and scary because it's harder to see. When someone is talking about a valley, sometimes they mean hard times. The writer reminds us that even in hard situations, God is with us. Our valleys might look like having a hard time in school, being afraid of doing something new, or being in a situation that is confusing. 
They can look like so many different things, but regardless of what they look like, God is with us. When I find myself in a valley, I say to myself, the Lord is my shepherd. This reminds me that it doesn't matter what's going on around me. God is always with me. God might look like a friend offering to help me, or a hug from a family member, or a reminder that I'm going to be okay. However it looks, God shows up in all of my hard times to help me find peace. We will all go through hard times, but it's nice to know that God is always with us and is our shepherd. Now it's time for you to wonder. Families, if you want to share 
what your child did with me and the email, they may be on a future blam. Well, Bob, let's pray together, okay? Dear God, thank you for being like a shepherd and taking care of everything we need, even when times are hard. Help us remember that. And when we are afraid, let us remember that you are with us always. Amen. Well, thanks, Bob, for joining us. And I will see you next week.